G'day, I'm Mark Hope and welcome to Swift Almanac. Uh, we've got our Apple ID and our developer account and now we need to install Xcode. So we're going to be covering the installation of Xcode, uh, the application and installation of a uh, Apple development certificate for code signing and just a, a brief uh, introduction to projects and making sure everything works. So let's install Xcode. Okay, so um, installing Xcode can be done two ways. The first way is through the App Store, uh, which will allow us to access the um, the latest release version of Xcode. Now at the time of doing this tutorial we are still officially at Xcode 8.3.3 if we click on the icon here it will tell us that uh, the new version is 8.3.3. Now we don't want 8.3.3 because uh, this is a tutorial on Xcode 9 but once it's released, it will turn up here and you'll be able to click on it and go uh, install uh, or update if there's an update to it. So what we need to do, and the alternative for you, is to go to the Apple development website. So I'll get out of the App Store and head to developer.apple.com and click on develop. You'll need to be logged in and click on Downloads. And you'll see here we've got Xcode 9 Beta 6. That's actually later, a, late, a more recent version than the one I have installed. So I'm going to download that and install it. But first, I'm going to check the release notes. And here we go supported configuration, so it needs to be running on a Mac running 10, 12, 6 or later. If I check out my About This Mac, it says I'm running 12, 10, 12, 6. So we're fine to be able to run this version of Xcode uh, on the operating system we've got. Otherwise, you would need to either download the beta of uh, Mac, OS, Mac OS X or uh, go back into the App Store and download the latest version. So simply we just click on download from the developer website and that will download. It's 4.7 gigabytes and it's going to take a bit of time. Luckily I've already downloaded it. Okay, so now that we've downloaded the file, we get this compressed file, we simply double click on it and uh, it will create this package. We go to our applications menu at the very bottom of that. You'll see Xcode, and this version here is 8.3.3. There's my previous beta and all I need to do is copy this down to applications and create another copy for me. And if I open that copy, I will have the latest copy running on my Mac. It might ask me some questions when I first open it up. Let's have a look. Yes, I wish to install the additional require, required um, versions. I am running my other Xcode beta, so I will quit out of that. Okay, so once that's installed, uh, Xcode is going to be running on my computer. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to get a development certificate and we get that from our uh, developer.apple.com website. We log in and go to account now I'm automatically logged in 
we go to the certificates, IDs and profiles here on the left hand side. Okay, so we're looking at all certificates, IRS certificates. Click on the plus. What type of certificate do we need? We need a development certificate. And this is the signed development versions of our iOS app. There are another of other certificates that we're going to need, but uh, currently we just need a development certificate. We click on continue. So what we need to do is we need to create a certificate signing request or a CSR, and we generate that from an application that's on our Mac called Keychain Access. So uh, you go to your applications folder or under the go menu, just go straight to utilities and Keychain Access is there. Just double click on that. So then from the menu, we go to Keychain Access, Certificate Assistant, request a certificate from a certificate authority. So put in a user, email address, the name, we don't need a, oh yes we do, we don't need the user email address. The request is going to be saved to the disk, we'll put it on the desktop. And there it is. So once we've got that, we need to upload it. So we choose the file, we had it on the desktop. We continue. And now we've uh, got our development certificate has been created. We can download that onto our computer. We'll get a, uh, a file called iOS underscore development .cer. And if we look at the icon, we'll have a pretty little certificate icon. And then if we just double click it, it should install it into Keychain access for us. So here is the certificate I've created, uh, development certificate, and it will expire in 12 months time. I've got another certificate here. Um, but in any event, uh, both, oh, if I look in keychain access under certificates, there should be one expiring just here, iPhone developer, uh, there's my details and it expires on the 27th of August. So that's installed within Keychain Access on my computer. Now if you change computers, uh, then you will need to go into the iOS certificates and if you select one, you can revoke it by removing it and they'll remove it from this list or you can download it again on another computer and then you can install it on your version of Xcode uh, there as well. So if you've got a laptop or something like that, then you can copy the certificate from place to place. Now you can save these certificates and signing requests, um, but essentially you can just recreate one because they're free. Um, there's really no need, uh, in my opinion, to save them. So now when we go into Xcode for the first time and we go to new and set up a project, we'll just select a single view app and the product name is test one, then it should come up with your team name. We're going to be using Swift. You don't need to worry about anything else at the time being. 
I'm not going to have a space there. Um, you should always have source control, create a Git repository on my Mac. And we'll place it again on the desktop so it's easy to find. So this version of Xcode, uh, I'm not signed in, so I will sign in. And Xcode 9 being absolutely fantastic. It will find my signing certificate for me out of my keychain automatically and uh, as long as I've checked automatically manage signing and we've got version 1.1 build one of uh, our test application and that's basically it for installing Xcode. Uh, it comes with a nifty little uh, default setup and we'll run through what everything else is shortly. Okay, so now we've got Xcode installed, we need to install what's known as CocoaPods. CocoaPods are external frameworks or modules that allow us to access already completed projects by other people or companies or to interface to uh, other sites like Google or Facebook, for instance. Uh, we don't want to invent the wheel every time, so uh, we use these pre-compiled uh, libraries. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, it's free. Comment below or hit me up on Twitter, at SwiftAlanac, if you have any questions. Look forward to seeing you next tutorial. Cheers.